Oh my god, that was too much. Hi my loves! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Xenia Chopra and in today's makeup tutorial I want to show you how to recreate this beautiful makeup look that I'm wearing today. Not only that, I'm also showing you how I wear the newly launched Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrizi's highlighter, which as you can see I'm wearing here. So if you want to find out how to create this makeup look and my thoughts on the newly launched ABH highlighter, then please keep watching. But before I jump into the tutorial, you know what to do. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. The links are all down below in the info box. Now without further ado, let's get started. So for the primer, I am going to use my good old favorite that I pretty much use in every single makeup tutorial, which is the Versalis Rose Gold Elixir. Right, now that the base is done, let's move straight on to the foundation. And the foundation I'm using today is the Fenty Beauties Pro Filter Foundation in the shade, I should know this, shouldn't I? Yep, the shade is 300. So this is the Fenty Beauties Pro Filter Matte Foundation in the shade 300. Let me go off camera and apply some eyeshadow primer and when I come back, I will also have brought you guys a little bit closer to me. <laughs> As I was saying, I brought you guys nice and close now so you can see exactly what I do and which eyeshadows I play with and the techniques that I use. So the palette that I'm using today is Juvia's Place Nubian 2 Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm going in first with the, the transition shade, which is Madagascar. And I'm taking this shade on a Sigma E25 blending brush and I'm going to apply this towards the outer corners of my eyes and also on my crease. Next, I'm taking the shade called Kenya and I'm applying that shade really close to the crease line on a uh, Kiko Milano's number 53 brush. So I'm bringing this shade very close to the first uh, transition shade because I just want to create a good transition of colors and some depth to my eyeshadow. I'm also bringing this eyeshadow towards the outer corners of my eyes. Right, now we're going to cut the crease and for that I'm going to go back into my Urban Decay's eyeshadow primer potion in the shade Eden and I'm going to use this to cut my crease. Now I'm just going to take some setting powder and apply it where we've cut the crease. So I've sprayed some Fix Plus on my 237 Detail Shader brush by Zoeva and then I'm going to dip into the shade called Nefertiti and apply that towards the inner corners of my eyes. So again, I'm going to spray some Fix Plus on my brush and then dip it into the shade called Ya. Yeah. I'm going to apply this towards the center part of my eyes where there's no eyeshadow at the moment. So I'm going to leave the eyes the way they are for now and we will come back to the eyes and finish them off a little bit later. What I'm going to do now is move on to the highlighting and concealing part and for that I'm using my Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C8 and I'm going to use this to conceal the regular areas of my face that is of course under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my chin, the sides of my mouth and of course a little bit towards the center of my forehead as well. Now I'm going to take my damp micro mini beauty blender and I'm going to blend the concealer in. Right, 
Now to set this concealer, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Cosmetics HD Corrective Yellow Powder and use that powder to just bake underneath my eyes. I don't really like to use powder everywhere. I prefer to just use it towards the sides of my mouth and also just towards the under eye area. I love how this powder just makes my skin look so flawless and photoshopped. So I'm just gonna let this powder sit for maybe a minute or two before dusting it off. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is start off with the contouring. Cream contouring, you guys know, I can't live without that. I got chubby cheeks, you guys, so need a little bit of contour in my life. Right, so for the cream contour, again, I am using a Makeup Revolutions Conceal and Define Concealer and this one is in the shade C13 and applying it to the regular areas I like to contour that is the hollows of my cheek along my hairline and also on the sides of my nose. Regarding the nose the closer you make the lines on your nose the smaller your nose will look. What I'm going to do is dust off the excess setting powder first before I go in and blend my nose contour, you guys. Okay, for the nose, I always like to use the Max Oval 3 brush. Now I'm going to go back with my beauty blender and whatever is not very well blended in, I'm just going to blend it in using my beauty blender. Now we are going to set the cream contour and for that I am using my Gorla's My Terracotta Bronzer and that is this one right here. So I'm going to take a Zoeva's 105 Luxe Highlight Brush and just apply this everywhere where we've applied the cream contour. Just lightly dusting it on, not too much because we already have quite a deep bronzer contour color. Let's go back and finish off the lower part of our eyes. So first we're going to go in with the first transition shade that we applied um, right over here and that was Madagascar and I'm going to apply the same transition shade on my lower lash line as well. Okay, next we are going to tight line our lower waterline and for that I'm using this Marc Jacobs highliner and this is in the shade called Out of the Blue. Now for the mascara, I am trying a new mascara for the first time on camera which is bound to be my new favorite mascara this is by benefit this is the bad girl bang mascara and i'm going to apply this on my lower lashes i'm not wearing any falsies today if you guys haven't noticed i've got some extensions in so that means i get to skip a step Woohoo! Well, I am, what I'm going to do is one more thing for the eyes that is to bring the gold towards the inner corners of my eyes as well. So for that, we're going to go back into the shade called Nefertiti and apply that towards the inner corners of our eyes. And finally, onto the brow bone. For the brow bone, I'm using the shade called Zuri. Okay, on to the final part, well, almost the final part of today's makeup tutorial. I am so excited to tell you that I am going to try the new Anastasia Beverly Hills and Amrizi's highlighter, you guys. Ooh, yes, yes, this is so exciting. Woo, woo, woo. Oh my God. Wow.
Wow, just look at that glow. Right, onto the blush now before I get too carried away and excited with my highlight and glow. Just look at that, you guys. Oh my god. Okay, so the blush I'm using today is by Yves Saint Laurent, and this is called the Blush Variation Fard et Jules. And yeah, I guess that's the shade name. Now, this is quite an old one. Just a little bit on the apples of our cheeks. Okay, so for the lips, I'm using the ColourPop's um, matte lip in the shade called K, which is this one. Okay, my loves, this brings me to the end of today's makeup tutorial. What did you guys think? Well, leave me a comment in the comment section below. As you know, I love to read all your comments and I always reply to each and every one of you. So please do leave me a comment below. And if you did enjoy this video, please also give this video a big thumbs up. Now I'm going to say goodbye and take your leave and hopefully see you all next week when I'm back with another makeup tutorial. Till then, you know what to do. Be good, take care of yourselves, miss me as always, and I'll see you all very, very, very soon. Mwah. Love you guys. Bye.